Hello everyone, um, in this video I'm going to share with you how to create a library drawer. I'm just using either some lightweight chipboard or some cardstock. Um, it's really fun to make and I really enjoyed making this. So let me show you what I did here. I used some lightweight uh, chipboard that I purchased at my local Michaels and then I just covered the library drawer using um, my favorite, it's the Prima Romance Novel. I used the 6x6 six six pad and I also used the A4 um, pad. And you can see here I covered the chipboard with the design paper all the way around. And then right here, um, to create um, this part right here, I used my Stampin' Up! It's the large oval punch. And then I used a Sizzix um, die to create this little book plate. If you have the Tim Holtz tag die, it also has some really pretty book plates on there. And then I just add some brads and then I place one of the die cuts um, in the center. And it says a perfect day. All the distressing is with, of course, my favorite, um, the frayed burlap. So let me show you what I added um, in my library drawer. I really loved the die cuts. Uh, images in this paper collection. Um, in the A4 stack you can see there's really large envelopes, um, these really nice tags, and then the um, 6x6 pad, same, but you know, a little bit smaller. So I incorporated some from both um, the stacks into this project. You can also use any of your other existing die cuts um, or dies and other embellishments and you can make a really cute library drawer and it's perfect for any theme um, which is really great you can use this for any theme and this is more of a family theme that I put in here I haven't added all my photos and I'm still um, not done putting it together um, I just wanted to share with you um, how to create one of these and what I've you know started here so let me show you and um, so inside I added these cute little Tim Holtz cards and I just spelled out the word family and you can even put small photos behind there if you want so that just goes into this little pocket and this was a um, Seven Gypsies uh, pocket and then I just covered it with the design paper and layered it with the die cuts so you'll see a lot of the die cuts um, in this um, library drawer and that's what inspired me to make this and then uh, again my all-time favorite my butterfly punch by Martha Stewart and I'll show you, you can see here as I go through this a lot of the die cuts um, I incorporated a little Michaels frame and I put the design paper inside and again some more of the die cuts and this is from the A4 stack it's a little cute postcard I just fold in half um, this photo, I have to attach that to something. So these I created, I'm um, just using again the lightweight chipboard and I just covered it with the design paper and I used that Jenny Bolin tab punch and then just add a photo. So it makes a um, nice way to journal as well and then these um, are some Polaroid die cuts using my AccuCut die. So I just adhered the die cut to the design paper and I left the top part open so I could slide my photo inside. Um, here's another one of the tabs I created. So some I covered with design paper and some I just left um, blank. And here's another one of those pockets. I covered both sides this time. And add some of the die cuts as well. Um, this is one of those cute little pocket envelopes. So I just attached it with a paper clip. This pocket I created with one of the 6x6 six six papers. And then I just add, this is really cute, I love these. These are the Adhesive Embellishments by Recollections. And you can get those at Michael's. And then you could just put, you know, receipts or whatever you want to put in there. Another Polaroid. So as I go, I'll add things to it. Another one of the envelopes, really cute. It's another little tab, and I cut out the sentiment note to put it on the tab. Another Polaroid. It's really um, fun to make. This is another envelope I made with a 6x6 paper pad. Add another one of those buttons. And then I just use my decorative scissors. 
really fun. I really, uh, again, it makes a great project. It's another one of Polaroids. This one I stapled the photo to the die cut using my tiny attacher. You can journal on there. This is that Polaroid image from the A4 stack. And I love this. This is the Tim Holtz vintage camera. So I add a photo of Ashley and I in there. It's another one of the pockets. Just made a belly band. I created a tag using the design paper. So lots of ideas that you can add to the library drawer. It's another Polaroid. I just found this feather in my drawer. Stuck it in there. Another card. Some more die cuts. This is a little chalkboard. Michaels was selling it a while back. So I just added a little chalkboard there. And then I add this. This was a little bit longer. I just cut it. So that's what you can make, you know, these little nice library drawers. And, um, what's going to be uh, really fun is, um, for those of you that um, participate in um, ATC swaps or just collect ATC cards, you can fit a nice set of ATC cards in this drawer. It would be a nice way to store them. Or for those of you that do tag swaps, it's a nice way to display it in your craft room and then you can just you know pull them out and look at them every now and then which is nice so you know you could see you could fit a lot of things in here I'm just gonna place it in here and it's an adorable project to make okay so let me show you how to make it really easy I went ahead and pre-cut a design paper and you're gonna um, cut it at 9 by 12 so this is the 12 inch side and then this is a 9 inch side so you'll need a 12 by 12 uh, cardstock or lightweight chipboard whatever you're gonna use and on the 9 inch side you're gonna score it at 3 and then you're gonna score it at 6 and again like I always do put dimensions down below and then on the 12 inch side you're gonna score it at 3 and at 9 Okay, you're going to cut your slits on the bottom and as well on the top. And this is where I used the large uh, Stampin' Up! oval punch. Um, the punch, usually they recommend that you only cut or punch out one paper because you don't want to break the punch, but um, which I don't recommend. I punch them all at the same time. Um, but when I used the lightweight chipboard, I had to do it one at a time. So what you want to do is... Um, you want to make yourself a little template and that's what I do when I especially when I use a lightweight chipboard I made a little template because you have that little extra 3 by 12 piece so use that as your template and then you're just going to line it and punch and then line it and punch line it and punch if you don't have the punch you can use any of your dies that have an oval shape on it or you can just hand cut it it's really easy shape to, to cut so let's go ahead and add the adhesive here um, to the side tabs. I'm just adding a little just to put it together. And you can see, uh, like I always like to do, is um, make it easy to assemble. So we're just going to assemble this together. Just line up my little cuts here. Just making sure these all match together. Okay, so there you made your little library drawer. And then you're going to just basically take your book plate and you're going to center it here and then um, punch your little holes. I just used my um, the Tim Holtz pick tool to punch the holes. And then you add your brads and you got yourself a little library drawer. So that's what you can create. Um, have fun making one and thanks everyone for watching. Bye.